This is a video game called GTA 5 and it basically mocks Jesus Christ. That's what it does. I suppose this ages ago well I saw more of it and this clip here is very blasphemous. It basically as you see right here, this is Jesus Christ, the mocking Jesus Christ. And basically Jesus Christ here is stoned out of his head, drunk. So they're making Jesus Christ look like a pothead and a drunk. Blasphemous. It's not funny. And this isn't the first time that Rockstar of mocked religion. They always do it. I mean, Rockstar is a massive company and we all know why, because they sold out. I mean, every single video game that they've made is full of occult symbolism. I mean, I've done so many videos on this specific game. Because there's so much symbolism that is in this game, it's unbelievable. But, just listen to it, the clip, and you'll see yourself that this is straight up blasphemy. It really is. As you see, we're all equal, the three of us. This is talking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this is straight up blasphemy, they're basically mocking God. This is mocking God. This is, this is not the only reason I stopped playing this game, as you may know. I was a pro hardcore gamer. I played about nearly a thousand games. Honestly, I have. I mean, I've played a thousand games. And they're all satanic. I've exposed about 74 games. Because they needed to be exposed. I mean, honestly, this game is just unbelievable. It's blasphemous, mocking Jesus Christ. As you can clearly see that this so-called Jesus Christ here is stoned and basically drunk. It's a mockery. It's not funny. It's blasphemy. That's all it is. Anyways, 
this guy stopped to help him, even though he doesn't have health insurance. And I'm like, that's so cool, man. So yeah, there's this kid I know, yeah, and he's really upset because of his brother. I mean, his brother goes to school out of state or something, and he never comes back home for the holidays, always wasting his dad's money on parties and keg stands and stuff. Anyways, he comes back home, and his dad lets him drive his new car, but not my friend. And my friend's like, lame, and the dad's like, not lame. And that's just the way it is, man. Can you imagine? I mean, can you just imagine what it would be like if everyone was just cool and all the lame people were just not lame? I mean, but even if they were, I'd be like, hey, it's cool. You're lame. I'm cool with that. I'm just here to try to say not to be lame. But even if you are, it's all good. Like, I used to be a mad sick skater and biker and stuff, and then check this out. I kind of grew up a bit, and I'm not anymore, and that's just how it is. I put away the stuff when I was a kid, but now I'm not so much, apart from action figures, because they're still cool, and that's cool. Like, I spoke to my dad, and he used to be a real mean guy. I mean, like, he used to be a dick, especially the Jew. And there we go. Yeah, what he said. My dad used to be a D, especially to the Jews. Absolute, complete garbage. Jesus Christ wasn't evil to the Jews. It was the other way around. The Jews hated him because he was the son of God. The son of God of Nazareth. Well, of course, these people in Hollywood are going to make fun of Jesus Christ because, oh, it's, it's so hilarious, isn't it? It's not funny at all. R Rockstar will, will, will get what's coming to them on Judgment Day. They think it's funny mocking God. Let's see how funny it is when they're standing before God. See what excuse they come up with them. See, there's a reason this game sold billions of copies. It's because Rockstar are sellouts. I mean, you just examine all of their games. Every single game they've made is full of occult symbolism. And it mocks Jesus Christ. You can clearly t tell that this is the life of Jesus Christ. Besides, obviously, the drinking and the getting stoned. They're just using that to mock Jesus Christ. They're basically saying that Jesus Christ would basically go and get stoned. I mean, this is basically like a hippie. It's a joke. I mean, he looks like... I mean, honestly, it's straight up blasphemy. That's what it is. I mean, where he says, My dad was a D, especially to the Jews. God wasn't evil to the Jews. He made a covenant with them. He said, I will make a covenant with you and something to do with circumcision. And that was the covenant. As long as they continue to do what they do, and that was the covenant that was agreed. But of course, these people in Hollywood are going to make got out to be the evil guy like always and they make Satan out to be the good guy it's a joke it's disgusting I don't find mocking God funny at all it isn't it's offensive it's annoying and it really offends me you mock God it offends me I'm sure if you're a Christian as well you'll find this offensive it's not funny it's a joke. It's not that he doesn't like Jews. I mean, he loves Jews. I mean, he might even be Jewish himself. And then I came along and everything was cool. I mean, that's what I really love about him. I mean, he's got this really rad beard like an old hipster dude, man. So, like, you know, when you want to get big and you're all stressed because you don't have anything to smoke, 
Well, don't get stressed about that crap, man. Life is too short. And if you want to get big, do so, but not too much. I love chill people. I mean, I love people that aren't very confident about themselves. You know, people that do not cool. I love chill people. I mean, I love people that aren't very confident about themselves. You know, people that do really interesting stuff, not to be a dick, but because it's cool, man. I mean, I really don't like people that do stuff to call themselves really cool all the time, like posers and people who show off about yoga. Hey, bros, what's up? I mean... Who's it hanging? Oh, I don't mean that. I mean, how's it hanging, man? Oh, bless you all. Bless you. Oh, I'd love a latte. Or maybe I'll make some out of water or something. Or, or some sushi. Or some herby focaccia. Oh, man. Well, as you can see there, that was a straight up strike at Jesus Christ. When he made wine, he made water into wine. Um, that straight up strike at Jesus Christ. I mean, if you can't see right here, th this is just a mockery. It's hidden in plain sight. They're laughing. They may not say openly that this is Jesus Christ, but they're mocking him. It's not funny. Jesus Christ. If he was on earth, would not be getting stoned, would not be getting high. It wouldn't happen. Jesus Christ wouldn't be like some hippie. Jesus Christ, when he was on earth, called people out for being hypocrites. He also called people fools, because many of them were. And then when he said he was the son of God, the Jews didn't like it. They're the ones that killed him. They're the ones that put him to death on the cross. Because they hated him. Just because he was the son of God. The so-called Jews didn't like it and they killed him. They're the ones that turned on him. Man, but this is just a complete joke. Well, it's un honestly, it's unbelievable. This is a mockery. It's totally rad, man. It's totally rad. So, like, man, I know it's up out there, man, but you gotta have faith, man. Alright? Because everything's gonna be okay. Like the therapist above said, man, it's gonna be okay, alright? You gotta chill the hell out, man, alright? Otherwise, it's not gonna be too good. You gotta enjoy life, alright? Because the alternative is not so good. Not so good, man. What do you mean, like they said that? Uh, I mean, that was a straight up strike at God. He said the therapist upstairs. What a joke. God is not a therapist. God is God. God is not laughing at this. God is not sitting there in heaven laughing at this. This angers God. God will not be mocked. This is not funny. This is not funny at all. You can see this is, this is just a straight up attack on Jesus Christ. And to make Jesus Christ look like a bad guy and make Jesus look like a pothead. It's a joke. It really is. Jesus Christ would not be smoking weed, nor would he be of the world, because he wasn't of the world. There was no sin in him. He died for us. He took on our sins. He was sinless. Or, of course, they're going to say, oh, the therapist upstairs. And then he says the alternate alternative is not God. Yeah, that's hell. 
So that's proof right here that this person here is playing the character, is playing Jesus Christ. I mean, you can tell it's Jesus Christ, and you know, the cross looks like G the false image of Jesus Christ that they promote in Hollywood. This is how they mark, notice the sandals as well. Straight up mockery, joke. It's not funny, never will be. And if you're playing this game, I really consider start playing it seriously because this is proof. Because this game and this company is an enemy of God. When you mock God, you are an enemy of God. God ain't laughing. God's not laughing at this. He ain't laughing at it at all. Well, as you can clearly see, this is straight up mockery. Like always that they do in Hollywood.